Hello, my friends. Welcome back to my channel and the fourth and final part of Snow Kitty. So we're going to do the background today. We're going to use oil pastels again because I wanted a very um, storm, kind of stormy, um, opaque um, looking background and oil pastels are really good for that. So um, I'm going to use a slightly different technique, I think, than I've been using. And <laughs> I hope that it comes out. It's come back, it's come out already um, in my test page. But for some reason it it seems like lately when I go to do a background, even though I'm doing it the same way that I did before, <laughs> it doesn't come out the way I thought it would. But I, I'm hoping that that won't be the case this time. So um, I have got three colors pulled out of my Mungayo Gallery oil pastel set. So we have light gray. I think this is probably medium gray. Oh no, did I pull the, I pulled the paper off from the wrong side. Oh no. <laughs> Dang it. Um, I, mm -hmm. I'm hoping that that's medium gray. Oh goodness. Pay attention next time for sure. And dark gray. So it's just three different shades of gray and it, um, the, these are actually quite, um, especially the light gray is, is extremely blue, which is good. I think that's what we want on this page. So instead of, um, putting it all down on the palette and smearing it around with a brush or with odorless mineral spirits, I'm going to apply this directly to the paper. Now, um, I will say to you that um, if you're going to be doing this and you're not using the exact paper that I'm using, please, please test out this technique on a scrap piece of paper because, um, you know, papers all behave differently. They grip differently. And I would hate for you to come in and... Um, scroll, you know, put your, put your oil pastel down on your paper and then have it just not move. Um, that would suck basically. So, um, if you're going to do this and you're not using, um, the, the, um, Nina Desert Storm paper, please just do it, do a quick test on a scrap piece of paper before you go, um, crazy. So light gray, putting down here. And then I'm gonna start working in some of the other two colors. So I, gosh, I hope this is called medium gray. I don't even know. You know what, let me just, before we get started, I wanna just check and see because I think all the colors, hmm. I was gonna check and see. I thought maybe I had the, the paint. Oh wait, here we go. All right, so is there something called medium gray? I don't even know what number it is. Um, dark gray. Maybe it's just called gray. Light gray, gray, and dark gray. That would be my guess. Okay, good. So, so now you know. All right, so now we're going to use the gray. And um, I really just think fingers work best here. And if you can do small scr uh, scribbly little motions, um, that's probably better too. But we get pretty decent coverage here. And I didn't want to use the mineral spirits because I, I really want this to be heavy. And the mineral spirits do tend to, um, you know, thin it out and make them a little bit more translucent. All right, rather than putting the dark gray on straight, I think I'm going to put this down first. And then some dark. Gray. 
since it's such a dark color, I want to give it um, something to, to blend with. And while we don't get, you know, super duper far, um, you know, the sections are fairly small that we're going to work in, I still think it goes much faster than trying to do this with pencil. And you might be able to do this with um, uh, pan pastels. Um, that might work, but you're going to have to think you're, you would have to seal them before you um, uh, before you do the other things that we're going to be doing to this page to get it to look like a stormy sky. All right, this is the gray. I want to be careful maybe not to hold those in my other hand like I normally would do because I can just totally see me uh, putting a big old <laughs> big old mark across the page that would not be good okay let me just show you did I put <laughs> I forgot to get my white out um, what I'm also going to be doing um, throughout this is I'm also going to be adding some white into the mix and that's kind of to give the um, the impression of snowy you know low clouds and and um, fluffs of snow and all of that so not that I'm an expert in that by any means. We hardly ever, ever get snow uh, here. Up north we do, but not down in the valley where I live. Okay, this is, what is this? This is just the gray. And the light gray. And small little circular motions to blend all of that. So I'll wait to do the white um, again until I'm closer to where I want to be. We are going to use mineral spirits for a portion of this and I will show you where. Uh, Just a sec. I think I can go ahead and add the dark. I was hoping this would have. A... Yeah. I know you can see better when I'm um, holding it on its side. So let me peel some of this paper off if I can. Come on, there we go, there we go. Please tell me I did not peel it from the wrong end. No, I didn't, okay. <laughs> All right, there we go, on its side.
Okay, back to gray. Mm, maybe we should do the uh, mineral spirits now. All right, let me just get a little closer. And if it's not covering, it's just you just need more pastel down so that it has enough product to smudge around on the paper. Okay, I'm going to take my little ramekin of mineral spirits. Hardly need any in there at all. Just get it damp. And I already have some down on my palette. And I'm going to brush this in. We can always add more bristles back in if we need to. If I happen to cover too much up, after it's dried, I can go over it again. become obsessed with watching Ever After, Happily Ever After. No, Once Upon a Time. <laughs> Get the name right. Once Upon a Time um, on Disney Channel. Uh, I always look for those, those good shows that you could just binge watch your little heart out while I'm, while I'm working in the studio. So right now I'm, I'm watching that particular show and enjoying it very much. We started watching it when it first came out on TV and we watched it for several seasons and then for some reason, and I don't remember why, we stopped watching it. So um, the first few seasons are, you know, ones that I've seen before, although it's been such a long time. Eventually, I'm going to get to a point where they're all new, which will be fun. Half of me is loving the story, and the other half of me is loving the costuming and um, the scenery and all that stuff. It's just so fun.
right. I think that's good. I'm going to carry on with the um, direct method here. to use some more just light blue. Do some more white. But one of the things that I really like about these is that even though they're oil pastels, they clean up with soap and water. And um, that's really important to me. I, uh, I don't like to have to use mineral spirits and stuff like that to clean my brushes and my hands and all that. So as long as you use soap, these clean up real nice. All right, I think I'm gonna put a little bit more dark, oops, um, regular gray right in here. Alright, <clears throat> so now I'm going to take some of my um, white pastel, and before I do anything else, I'm going to learn from my mistake that I've made in the past, <laughs> and I'm going to clean my hands. <laughs> Been there, done that, made a big mess, and um, these baby wipes work um just fine for cleaning this stuff off your hands. I get mine at, um, I think I've told you guys this, this before, I get these at Walmart and um, they're like 99% water and they smell like cucumber. They're just delightful. I use them for both changing diapers and for cleaning my hands. They're multi-purpose. Okay, so now I'm going to take my brush, and it's just a, it's just a crappy paintbrush. Um, all of my brushes start out decent. I wouldn't say that they're, you know, top of the line. I don't. I usually buy them from uh, Hobby Lobby when they're fifty percent off. The Master's Touch brushes, <clears throat> but then eventually all my brushes start to get less than perfect. And so when they're less than perfect, then they get delegated to doing stuff like this. So I'm just going to put some of that white on my brush. And before I do that, do I want to add any more to this? Now that I, I just looked over there and saw it, let me have a quick 
I don't think about that. Let's just add a few more. This is Prussian green. I don't think it's super duper necessary. I think they looked fine the way they were, but we'll just add a few more. Okay. Then <laughs> we start adding snow. And I'm literally just going to tap this on here. Can always tap it and soften it with your finger before it, before the um, mineral spirits evaporate too much. But I want variations. I want heavy clumps. I want small little clumps. And we're also going to put some on her hat. And the snow is going to clump on the top. a little bit right here I want some like on her brim This is another one of those things, kind of like um, freckles, where you want to make sure that you're not um, give it, making it look like polka dots. You want some bits that are kind of clumped together, and then you want some spread out. I'm going to do some up here. And if you ever do it and you're not happy, just rub it in or wipe it off before it dries. Put some in her hair. Very lightly. You want just little little flakes, little tiny little dots. I think we'll put some here. I can put some in the pine tree, pine branches. I kind of like the um, using the brush straight up and down to where you're getting kind of a, I wouldn't say it's a star shape, but it's kind of a, a messy, um, uneven clump of, of um, in the shape. So it's not just a little dot. 
Now I just felt like it was a little too clumpy there, so I just kind of blended it into the background. I want a little bit more of it blended here on top. Try not to get your fingerprints uh, in there if you, can, if you can help it. There's also an area here where I feel like not enough of the pesto went up against her hat, so I just put some on there and then blended it out. So you can't really see the, you don't want to see the color of the paper between the background and her hat. All right, let's put some on top of Kitty's head. Wonder how we could do some on his whiskers. And on top of his nose. It's like, I look at her and she's all smiley and happy. And I look at, at, at him or her and, and, and I can picture the cat going, you know, and we're out here in the snow. Why? <laughs> I'm getting snow on my whiskers. Do a little bit more up here. Um, I'm going to do a couple of them in her eyebrows. <laughs> I didn't do this on the um, original, but like, kind of like it. 
Do I? Yeah, I do. Maybe not on the nose. Well, maybe that's enough. Okay, then I have something else that we're going to do. I think that's good enough. Okay, so then, and of course I didn't, I didn't um, have my stuff out for what I want to do for this. So let me grab what I need and I will be right back. Okay, for the next part, I'm going to use a white um, pigment ink pad. This is one from Joann's, but as long as it's, um, you know, like an opaque white, um, you could also use, um, there is one called, I think, opaque white that's a, um, oh, what's it called? Um, like a pigment ink, like a permanent ink um, instead of a water-based ink. Now, for whatever reason, um, again, some water-based products work just fine on the oil-based. So um, this is a little snowflake stamp that I have. If you don't have stamps, um, you could absolutely use, create your own um, snowflakes using a Posca pen or a, um, a Sharpie, an oil-based Sharpie pen. Um, you could do that too. So, but this little, this little um, pigment ink pad um, works just fine and it's not overly um, bright it's kind of nice and subtle so we can use it to our little heart's content and if you're going to use a stamp make sure that you um, try and and turn that stamp a little bit um, so that the snowflakes are not all going in the same direction. Now, I if I in an ideal world, I would have multiples of these with lots of different snowflakes. Unfortunately, I do not. Um, I have been looking for more snowflake stamps and have just not found them. So I don't want to go overboard. I think I'm going to stop there. Um, I don't want to go too crazy. I think... Maybe less is more in this case. Um, so, is that it? Do I have snow everywhere where I want to have snow? Maybe a little bit in her hair here. But <clears throat> I just really liked that little bit of a, an addition of having an actual snowflake. Um, showing um, I think just a little bit more and we will be done that didn't take very long at all like a half an hour easy peasy okay how do I feel about this I'm going to tell you that I feel like I want some more of this um, either Celadon or Jade color. What do I, what do I want? Let's see what, I had it out somewhere. I'm looking for it and I can't find it. This is Jade, I think I want Celadon, which I used in a different, I wonder what this cool gray would do. Now, now, when I did my um, first one, it was, I used, no. where's my jade pencil? I can't find it. I hate it when that happens. Oh, there it is. Okay. Um, I used this jade color in the original, and I really liked the the bluish color of it in these. So I'm just gonna add some of that in here. Um, maybe even use it 
to get in where that's not a bad idea to get in where the um, white all pastels did not cover. There we go. That's not bad. Maybe some white. Let's see. What if we threw some white? Yep, I like that. That's that's not bad. All right, my friends. I think that's it. Yes, indeed. And it's dry, and once every you know, once everything is cured for a little while, you don't have to spray this. It will um, it will stay just fine, and it won't rub off. So, all right, that's a wrap. That was a quick and easy background, and um, I really like um, how it looks. If I want to, or if you want to, I might just add a little bit of dark. Just a little bit more dark in here in places, just to kind of bring home the the storminess of the day. <laughs> yep, I'm gonna. Uh, that's good. I'm happy with that. So. Until I see you guys next time, um, which is going to be the um, the Christmas page. I kind of call these winter pages, even though they're they're great for this time of year. Um, I do have a full on Christmas page coming next, um, so I will see you then. Until that time, take care of yourselves, take care of each other. Love to you all, and happy coloring. <laughs>